Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is a Three Minute Thursday. Our first Three Minute Thursday of the year. That's right. Our Three Minute Thursday videos are short videos where we put homeschooling products through the paces so you can decide if the product is good for you without wasting your money before you buy it. You ready to start the clock? Yes. Let's do it. <coughs> Let's try that again. Today we're going to be reviewing the Carson Mini Pocket Microscope. And it also comes with a phone adapter. This microscope comes with a UV light, an LED light, an independent focusing ring, and also, as we mentioned earlier, an attachment clip that you can put on almost any cell phone. You'll be able to magnify all kinds of things around the house. Everything from looking at money, insects, and much more. For homeschooling science, a microscope is a must. The problem with microscopes is good ones are really expensive and cheap ones are just that, they're cheap. Their picture quality is poor, their magnification is bad. So you end up getting a picture like this. So when my wife came across this $20 microscope, I had my doubts. And when they advertised it coming with its own cell phone clip adapter, I was even more skeptical. So to quickly find out if this thing actually does what it says it can do, we're gonna need a red onion. Why do you need a red onion for this? I'm glad you asked. You see, a plant cell is about a tenth the size of a human hair. And a human hair is actually about the lower limit in size our eyes can visualize. So a plant cell, if it's one tenth the size of a human hair, then if this thing says it can magnify something 20 times, we should be able to see an actual plant cell with our phone cameras. So for this, we took an onion and a razor blade and we just shaved off a tiny fleck of the surface of the onion. And then you just attach the microscope to your cell phone and let's see what we can see. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Put the object under your lens, slowly approach it with the microscope, and you can start to get pretty clear images. And after playing with the focus and with a little bit of practice, you can see you are actually able to visualize individual plant cells on this onion skin. I have a tip on how to get it that clear in just a second. That brings me to my other point as to why we chose a red onion for the microscope. The plant cell has a cell wall and a cell membrane, and the purple pigment contrasts pretty well against the cell membrane, so you can actually see the individual cells pretty easily. And a pro tip, if you end up getting the microscope and you want to show your kids the cells like I did here, if you can put a little backlight behind your onion sample, you'll be able to see the cells much better. And what I mean by that is all you have to do is really take your slice of onion, put it on top of a flashlight, light it up, and then look at it that way. To show you how I did it in the studio, not trying to spoil the magic of our high-end studio here. Then let me show you. This is one of our studio lights. And it's even something as simple as hand holding it back there and using it this way. And when you do it that way, you'll be able to see the cell membranes far easier, which will make it easier to make the distinction between each cell border. Here, I've slowed down the video so much so that you can see the rolling shutter of the iPhone. But you get the idea of how clear you can see the individual plant cells. So that's actually really cool. Using this $20 attachment, you can actually see individual plant cells from this onion. Now maybe I'm a little biased because biology was always my favorite subject, but to be able to use your phone and show your kids the actual building block of life and to be able to take your kids and take their learning from the textbook or however you choose to, to teach them about cells and then transition them to your just something as simple as your phone or your iPad and they can actually see the individual cell itself, to me, that's worth the price of admission alone. But maybe you're not interested in cells. Maybe you're more of an insect person. We actually found this dragonfly on the floor of our garage, perfectly preserved. Maybe it had a heart attack or something. Let's see what our microscope can see with this thing. The zoom and the image quality are sufficient enough that you can actually see the tiny hair coming off the individual fibers of the wing. And as we zoom in and look at the compound eye, don't even try and act like this isn't the grossest thing you've seen in a couple of weeks. So in summary, my thoughts on the Carson Micro Mini Microscope. Worth it. When trying to recommend products, I usually look at one important thing over everything else, and that's the reusability. Because it can be hard to invest your money in something like a science kit, use the materials, and then you're done, and it's kind of a one and done experiment. It was fun for the kids, they enjoyed it, they learned something, but that $40 is gone and you're never getting it back. It doesn't mean it wasn't worth it, it was just 40 bucks. That's why physics kits are so much easier to recommend because you can build something, study a topic, break it down, and build something again and study a different topic. Along those lines, 
here we have this microscope. The build quality is good enough, the image quality is good enough, and as you can see, the magnification is good enough that you can actually see plant cells among other things. Another added benefit of this is the fact that it clamps onto your cell phone so easily that as you're looking at things, you can take pictures, record videos, text them to friends, nerd alert. But if you've got those kind of friends in your homeschooling community, go for it. Well, that's our review of the Carson Microscope. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Just hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.